Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. And on a Saturday, I'm so excited. I got back from on stage live on Sunday evening, actually almost the early hours of Monday, but I was out there for five days from Wednesday all the way through to Sunday. And I have quite literally got a suitcase full of gifts and swaps and all sorts. And if you've seen on my business page, I did post a photograph and literally I had no room for clothes. I used my scarves. I um, always take scarves away with me, um, chiffony ones, and I use those to protect everything, but I had to ram my clothes in my cabin baggage, full-size suitcase, and then a cabin bag, and that's where all my clothes went. So, but I wanted to show you everything that I received, and there was so much stuff. So I'm gonna dive straight in because I might have to go quite quickly, but if not, grab a cuppa, maybe a biscuit too, maybe some snacks, and let's have a look. So we start off, so all demonstrators are gifted a bag at every on stage event and I can't possibly get this in but this is a rucksack beautiful We've got little pockets everywhere a really good one it's not too deep either and then um, beautifully patterned inside lots of pockets and things and inside our bags look at the decoration on the outside the poppies might be a theme inside there was um, uh, our lanyards so we had lanyards for our name tags and things and then stamp set we've got a notebook i haven't opened mine yet notebook in there so that you obviously can take notes and write notes and oh that's good oh it's got a layered bit so yeah you can write notes and stuff as you're going along pack of pens again the whole theming as well this was my stamp set that i got in actually i think we all got the same and then as i was uh, checking in i was given an envelope and in my envelope was a letter telling me um, or reminding me when I had recognition of where I was to march across or stand and wave and what have you. And inside it was a pin. So you get these every year if you earn the incentive trip. So this is my Maui one. And then all of your achievement ribbons. So I created a rainbow. So I have every single one of the ones that is available. There are no more that I could add. And it was down by my knees. And actually I went ahead and added one because I have ribbons that I've made for a few events now for my team. So that's my logo and our team hashtag. So they were all in there. So I had to spend ages putting them all together, but I made a rainbow again. I made one last year. One of the gorgeous girls on my team, Ellie, I was sat with her last year and I went, oh, I don't know which order to put it in. You know, do you don't go by title or by time? And she went, Sam, a rainbow, obviously. How could that not have occurred to me? So anyway, so I was given that. Um, so I need to put that to one side to go on my special lanyard. And then I was given this bag. And inside here are all my achievement pins. So you get one for each um, of the... There are five performance categories. So you get um, sales recruiting, which is actually mentoring. It's not just bringing people into the business. Sales recruiting, leadership, your country, and then overall in the glo you know, in the whole world, the global hundred. And I ranked at um, number 11 globally, which is pretty awesome because there's 52,000 demonstrators worldwide. So to rank at 11, so I have a pin for that. I have a pin for sales because I was number one in the UK. I have a pin for leadership because I was number one in leadership in the UK. I have a pin for uh, recruiting. I was also number one in the UK for recruiting. And I have a pin for country overall and I was also number one in the country. So I had um, so I had all of these amazing pins and I absolutely adore what I do. I'm very fortunate and very blessed with what I do. I have an amazing team and I have the most amazing customers. So it was all the ones this year, one, 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 and two number ones at number 11. So it was brilliant. And then there's a little card in there as well. So those are gonna go on to, well, they're actually gonna sit on my shelf in my office I have an office where I keep recognition from the past and this year they have brought pins but for the last three years we've had these um, bag zipper charms so I've been very fortunate that I've had five each year and I'm very glad they've gone back to pins because actually I run out of space on my charm bracelet um, so I, there's 15 on here and there these are all engraved with your the the year your initials and where you ranked. So they're gonna go on there. This little guy is going to go onto a very special lanyard I got at my first recognition event, and it's gonna go with my other incentive trip 
pins. Which are these ones here? So my first trip. So that's trip number six. And also on here, I have my milestone pins. So you get one for every time you cross 100,000 in sales. So this is my very first one when they were the old styling. And it's now gone on. And I did walk across the stage for 900,000, which is this one here. And then, as I was walking away, they gave me another gift, which is this one. So anybody who achieved in one of the five performance categories was given this beautiful engraved box. This has my name on it and where my rankings are. So you can see all those number ones. Um, all those number ones there. <laughs> so that's on the back. And then inside, a lovely card there. And a necklace. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see the detailing it. This is from our stamp set, Share What You Love, or maybe it's called Love What You Do. I think it's called Love What You Do, but this is from one of our stamp sets. And obviously Stampin' Up, and it says Stampin' Up 19 for 2019. And so we were very, very spoiled, and it was absolutely brilliant. Um, so, right, so that's all my goodies that stamp. well actually it's most of my goodies that Stampin' Up gave me. And then I've got a suitcase full, and I've got 23 minutes, 42 seconds left. Okay, so this... I'm going to try and bring it on camera. This was a gift from a lovely lady called Frederic, who um, is a friend of mine on Facebook, and I'd posted it up about all these American, um, I think they're called coffee trays, and they're round, and I have seen them on Pinterest, and people use them to put coffee cups or mugs and stuff and decorate them season by season. Now, this that's not a thing that we have in the UK, clearly, because I went looking, and I thought, I don't even know what I'm searching for. And we did find some, but they were like £70 plus shipping from America. And anyway, I'd posted on Facebook and I said, I want something like that. And this lovely, lovely demo, Frederic said, well, actually, I've got one and I really don't use it. And you can have it. So it collapses and she brought it all the way from the Netherlands for me. What a star. So it did collapse and I have just built it up and I will be taking pictures. But if you are one of those amazing folk who creates these wonderful displays, please, please, please share me, share some pictures with me. Pinterest is costing me a fortune, but please, I'd love to see your pictures. And I think, like I said, I think they're called coffee trays. Where I've seen them on Pinterest, they've been done seasonally, so for Christmas or for Valentine's or for the autumn or fall, as you would call it. Love them, addicted. Right, okay, so I'm gonna move quite quickly. I'm not gonna stop and say people's names because yeah, we're down to 22 minutes now. So these, these are a mixture of gifts that were brought specifically for me and also swaps as well. And I have to say, the, the French girls who are within my second and third level, so they're under a wonderful demo in my team called Sophie, they are just so talented. Um, I have my catalogue. I will be ordering my catalogues at the beginning of December when we as demos can order them and then I will be shipping them out. Um, to everybody so if you've shopped with me you'll get one so that's my catalogue god that soap is smells strong oh that's divine um, more beautiful gifts here ah oh, chocolate and cards all beautifully done I am so lucky so spoiled um, I brought gifts out for all of my team and then swaps as well and it was just so lovely that they were able to we were able to swap and, and spend time together. Oh, how do you open this? Oh, this is clever. Okay, so you pinch that to open. And inside, oh, how lovely is that? That's gorgeous. Katya, thank you. Or maybe I'll try and show names if I can. And then if you want to find out more about it, go and check out that demo. Kelsey and my team. Let me move on again. Uh, Sinterklaas came visiting me and it's a Dutch, it's so Sinterklaas visits the Dutch, I believe it's the 6th of, De 6th of November and they exchange gifts on the 6th of December. Dutch, please, Dutch folk, please get correct me and they leave, Sinterklaas leaves a chocolate initial in children's clogs. And so I have, and it's flipped over, there's an S in there for me, and there's lots of chocolates in there, so a real, oh, and that's come from somebody else's. <laughs> oh, I know that's where that's come from. So, yummy chocolates, and that's Sinterklaas himself, I don't know if you can see. 
There you go, Sinterklaas, chocolate Sinterklaas. Okay, oh, it's not to move on and get faster. Yummy chocolates in there. And this was a gift from my upline. And some um, page flags, a bookmark with um, an S on it and a polo. And actually there were some mints as well, which was very useful because I presented on main stage this year, which was quite nerve wracking for 30, in front of 1300 people. And there was a tiny little box of Tic Tacs in there and um, I shoved them in my pocket. <laughs> they were very useful right before I went on stage. This was made for me by one of my incredible demonstrators from Germany. Do you see that? Beautiful, beautiful pendant. So that was just gorgeous. And she gave it to me and I burst into tears. <laughs> because I'm soft as tribe. Gorgeous. Oh, I'm going to have to move faster. Um, there we go. Can you see the name? If not, press pause. Chocolate inside. Yum. I've got a swap here. I'll turn the name over when I bring the next one in. Um, this, so let me turn that name over. Oh, this is Frederic who gave me the um, the stand. So this is one of the, the girls in my team. Unfortunately, I pulled it a little bit too hard, but this is a teacup and I need to show you how to make it. And that's a tea bag and you pull and it flips round. Oh, and I've tipped it in the wrong direction. And there's chocolates inside. So you pull it round like that and it flips completely round to get at the chocolates. So this is Corinne Alamomi, who is a French demonstrator in my second level. She's absolutely gorgeous. I met her quite a few times when I've joined them at team events. I'll leave her details there. So let me scooch those on. This is from Tina in my team. So she's last year. So Tina, who sent me a whole load of late Kuchen biscuits, and I showed them in my Cards in the Mail to Me video last week. And um, she sent those to me. And last year, she sent me this beautiful coffee canister, which had this cat design on it and a lid. And this year, she gave me the mug, and it's got cho hot chocolate spoons in there. Just gorgeous. And then her swap as well. And some hit biscuits. So, again, I'll leave her details on screen while I bring something else in. I'm so going to have to move faster. So, you've got that one. This is Sally Stampers very patriotic so sally is in my team sally short sally stampers on youtube very patriotic red white and blue flags um, on those another one here i'm trying to move quickly now um let me flip that one over so you can see details this is janice jazzle dazzle in my team and so jazzle dazzle so there's scottish biscuits in here she lives in scotland scottish shortbread I'm going to hold that and chat while I grab something else. So Jazzle Dazzle is desperately trying to build up her minutes of her viewing on YouTube so she can monetize. Oh, there we go. This went on there. I knew it. That's where the I Love Stamping went on. So if you could go and check out Jazzle Dazzle and just watch some of her videos, it's going to build up her numbers so that she gets on she can monetize the video, so please, please, please go and do that. And she's ever so funny. She does YouTube live that cracks me up. Okay, let me move this one on. This was also a gift from Sally. So she, I love the fact that we can make our own boxes and it's a candle in there. Friendship, of all the gifts big and small to me, your friendship is the greatest gift of all. Oh, so lucky. I'm so going to have to splice two videos together, aren't I? This is going to stop and I'm just going to only be like a quarter of the way through. Let's move some faster. Yes, because I'm going to have to tell you the funny story about this. So on the aeroplane, there were six of us from my team who were flying out together. And there was actually on our plane, there was probably about 15 demos flying out. And I had Sally here and Helsey, who was my orange card here at the beginning. So Helsey is slim and stylish on YouTube. Anyway, I had those two one side of me and then I had Kay Katrina, actually nobody the other side, Violet was somewhere else. And Sally and Helsey brought out these great big thick books, hardback books, and started reading them. And I noticed their notebook, their bookmarks, and I said, do you not just turn the corner over? And I know that there are going to be book lovers out there who were screaming at their phones and videos in this video now. I am a brutal person. When I read a book, 
I just turn the corner over and I'm horrible like that and I fall asleep reading and it lands on the floor and I you know to me I, I and this is very much me I read a book and I love it and then I pass it on um and they were horrified when I said do you not just turn the corner over and they're like oh, as though I just sort of committed some kind of a crime and then I said I love your notebooks but what happens when it you know your books fall asleep fall on the floor when you've fallen asleep and they said oh no 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 we put the books down and, and turn off the lights and so to me that's completely alien later that evening Halsey produced from her bag this and she said to me and I didn't have a chance to open it as we I was shooting off to centre stage and I came back and she said Sam have you opened your gift yet and I said oh I don't think so and she said you'll know if you will because <laughs> <laughs> inside this little packet here and she'd bought it clearly before we had the conversation a corner bookmark of a cat so I think she's trying to she you know it was just perfect timing having had the conversation where I said I wreck the corners of my books there we go no more wrecked books okay um I've got a swap in here and this is Kay's swap yeah so Kay is Kay Mella so this is her gorgeous swap but she also made something for me. She was my roommate. This comes off here. Despite the fact that I used my suitcase only for um, swaps, I still managed to trash stuff. So have you got Kay's details? Can I hold them up? She also made me this. Now Kay decorates the most incredible, she does the notebook decoration. So she has made all of this. If I take these bits out, she's made this for me. It's got feet, it's got um, a handle on there, there's all this incredible detailing and obviously you recognise our Magnolia Lane paper. So this is a desk tidy to sit on my desk and that is properly solid. And then here she's made me, there was, this sits on the top of it and in here are some, I don't know what was in here, it's a pen, there we go. So a pink pen with a kitty, it was a catacorn. It's a cat unicorn that sits in here and it's one of those ones that you can use on a phone as well because it's got a spongy bit at the top with this gorgeous decoration around the top and then in here this she's done a hardback notebook for me and she's done all of the corners as well all these corners can you see them and then it opens up so Kate is paper craft skies so she's got a little notes in there that I can put things in like a little journaling notebook and then she's covered a notebook for me but she's made it in such a way that when you run out you can slide it out and pop a new one in because it's got a cardboard back on it how amazing is that just beautiful and then the stunning belly band on it and that when it's all put together sits in here like this as desk tidy oh spoilt rotten i bought chocolates <laughs> okay what else have i got in here oh my goodness so much okay let's move on so I have got, so this is again Frederique who gave me the, the beautiful stand and this is her swap, amazing, folds flat, you can see there's velcro there, gorgeous, 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 oh I'm going to have to move faster, this has come from, we had demonstrators I think from pretty much all countries there and this one has come from Australia, no New Zealand, New Zealand because it's got a kiwi on it and it's a Christmas tea, Christmas tea towel I'm not sure you're seeing it very well but it's a Christmas tea towel just beautiful no, you're not seeing it at all it's just gorgeous look at the kiwis <laughs> with their father Christmas hats on beautiful I was very spoilt to get that um, because I presented I had a card signed by all of the events team on there um, so I have got, I can't remember what this is, but I think it's a clay ornament for your tree. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to turn it over so you can see who made it. And I've run out of room and I've got 10 minutes left. Um, 
I certainly know this, but this is um, yummy chocolates in there. I have a video on this project, so if you want to go and have a look at it, but this is from Severine. So I'm going to hold this open so you can pause, zoom in, whatever you need to do. Um, oh my goodness, what have I got in here? I, you know, I don't even know that. Did I open this one? I didn't. Or did I? I don't remember. Oh my goodness. Goodness me, this is um, black. I've seen these, so I'm going to have to open it to show you. Oh, there's no scissors. It's not like I'm at my craft desk or anything where there's scissors. I can't get to them. Oh, and I'm running out of light as well now. I have seen these. These are, oh, they're scratch paper. It's scratch paper. Grab a sheet, and it's going to be. I'm pretty certain this is going to be rainbows underneath. And you create oh, it's holographic. Oh, look at that! And so you create things, and it's scratch paper. Oh, look at the size of that! That is just a massive block of it. Who gave it to me though? Oh, where's the label? Where's the tag? I know who it is. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Thank you very much. How cool is that? I am so gonna play for hours. And those are th they are, it's called Arteza, Vibrant Colours, Unique Pattern, Soft Scratchable Surface. So there you go, I have seen those, 202 of them. I'm gonna have them more fun than anything in the world. Oh my goodness, I'm so running out of space. Seven minutes left and i am not even touched the sides. Um, oh, I've got another gift in here from Stampin' Up. So I went to the leadership event, Centre Stage, which is a reward for all demos. We've got an exclusive stamp set for being at Centre Stage. This wasn't available to anybody else during the event. And then in here is one of those cool credit card wallets where you put all your stuff and obviously it's all logoed up and everything. Awesome. Awesome. Right, Samantha, move faster. Um, oh, that was my prize patrol. I won that one. What else have I got? <laughs> I'm going to have to come to this in a minute. So, my incredible team, as they knew I was presenting, and I was very anxious, despite the fact I do videos, not very good, not very comfortable on stage, and not in front of 1,300 people. So unbeknownst to me, amazing Sally, who, you know, Sally Stampers with the pencils, she had bought rainbow coloured flags for our whole team that was there, there were 45 of us, and whistles. So when I walked on stage, they were whistling and waving these flags. Um, and apparently when they whistled, all of the events crew had to yank their headphones off because it blasted their ears. Um, but they cheered long enough for me to get my breath on stage. I had four, I said to a couple of them, please cheer for me. Please give me time to get my breath back. But they did these. How cool are they? Amazing girls. Right. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. I've got so many swaps here. Um, beautiful. Look at that. Full of jelly beans. That's gorgeous. So I'm going to hold that there so you can see the demo's name. These are... Oh, no, I don't think this one... Right. So there, were, there was quite a lot of curvy keepsake stuff going on. Um, and I've popped the label off this one, but there's sweeties in there, but one of my girls, Violet, she had brought enough, um, and she gave me extras to take home for my boys. So there's, but there was a decoration on the, this one, I know for that for sure. Also the curvy keepsake, beautifully decorated, but look at that inside, how brilliant is that? And this is Silou, who is in part of my French team. So I'm just going to hold that there for a second so you can see it while I grab something else. That is just stunning, isn't it? Um, I've got Heidi here. Heidi, Heidi Bray. So I'm going to leave her details there. And then in here, 
all sorts of yummy things in there with that she's created this as a sticker and that's really cool so it's a little plastic cup and she's filled it with treats put this on the top and that there brilliant so clever okay i'm watching the time now yummies this tells me this has come from one of our visiting girls from australia or new zealand i think i don't know and there's no detail on it but it's really cute and my children love you all for the edibles you're so naughty um this had something in it and actually this amused me because at on stage shelly and sterling uh, shelly and sarah do some presenting and shelly did a presentation showing how to make a star like this and it really amused me because I'd had a swap earlier that day, this one. And so it is a box. And there was definitely something in there. There was definitely something in there because the, the oh no, it is, it's all popped down. But there was definitely something else in there. But actually what she's done is she's put all of her details like this. So that's really cool. The detailed tutorial is coming on the 24th of the 11th, 2019 as a blog hop. So there you go. Oh, focus, focus, focus. So that is where you need to go on the 24th of November, which is on Sunday. Tomorrow, <laughs> when you're videoing it, when you're watching it, and you will find the how-to of that project. Okay, right, three minutes. How many more can I get in before I have to press restart? Okay little yummies in here, Rita Sport, little ditty box in here, oh more, oh and where's the detail of the person who made it, there we go, oh this is Daggy and my team, There we go, so I'll hold that while I get another project, another one, before I'm going to have to stop. Okay, so this is one of, uh, this is a French demonstrator, and in here, if I can work out how to get into it, this is very heavy, there is, there's champagne jelly, and I don't remember what the top one is. So it's champagne jelly down here, so like jam, champagne jam in there, and oh, my French is awful to be able to translate what that is. I want to say lemon curd looking at it. This was all designed and made by Elise. So I'm going to hold her details, because I've only got a minute 40. There you go, there's her details. And I'm going to press stop, clear my desk, and come back. That's going to be about two seconds for you. See you in a minute. And back. It's a semi-clear desk. I just, as I was moving everything, I'd spotted that this was red, white, and blue that Sally did for the English. But I hadn't realised, actually, it was the Union flag. I knew it was red, white and blue, but I just thought it was red, white and blue stripes. That is really cool. It was so patriotic. It was lovely to see all of the coloured flags, all of the country flags rather, being waved when, you know, France was mentioned and they all started screaming and waving their flags and, um, you know, Germany and so on. Absolutely brilliant. Right, I'm getting there. I can see the bottom of my suitcase now. This was a gift for me. Look at that. Just gorgeous with all these thank yous written inside. Amazing. So this was one of the girls in my team who made this for me, but just gorgeous. But she didn't put her details on here. Beautiful. I like I said, I love that we can make look at that. She's made it exactly for this. That's the joy of us being crafters. Ladies and gentlemen watching, it is our pleasure, isn't it? We can make exactly the right size box for someone. Okay, so in here is a business card. So 
So I'm going to leave that out while I pop this out. Yummy foodie stuffs. That's brilliant. That is really cool. Okay, leave those there for a second. I'm moving out the stuff that's not relevant to you. So this was pre-order and my centre stage invite. So you don't need to see those. And make and take, don't need to see those. Here we go. We've got, look at that. It's a Christmas ornament. I don't want to take it out because I don't want ice glitter all over my desk. But you would hang it on your tree and it's got a chocolate attached to it. And this is Stephanie Walter. Um, I can't see the URL link, so I'm just going to hold it up so you can try and get a name. And that, that is Walter, W-O-L-T-E-R. So I'm going to hold that for a second while I bring in another one. Okay. Hope you saw that. This is lovely Laura Mackey, who is a British demonstrator. And I had to nab the one that was mostly rainbow coloured. I love it. Just gorgeous. And this is a lovely hanger. And it's... That is, that is really solid, that is properly solid. Laura, what did you make that with? Basic black cardstock. Edges of the board are empty. Oh right, made using the backing from DSP sandwiched in between black cardstock and the edges have been inked with Memento. That's, that's why that's really solid. So there's Laura's details. Well, I bring in the next one. Okay. This one, hmm, it was a bit of a blur, I have to confess, at the event. Sweeties. Okay, so this is, I'm not going to try and pronounce that because I don't want to, I don't want to get somebody's language wrong and pronounce it wrong. So let me hold that there for a second while I grab more. I'm just, again, I'm shifting out stuff. Celebration brochure. Shifting out stuff you don't need to see. There's, I've got a pen from somewhere. Okay. So I'll pop those there so you can still see them. So Yvonne Flitton. So Yvonne is in my team as well. Oh, that's really cute. I wonder if the pen came with that. Those are little page flags. Really cool for when your catalogue comes. And she's created a wish list as well. And you can open it all out. That's really brilliant. How clever is that? I think that actually is meant to be on there. She's created wish lists as well. That's really clever with the page flags. Every page I shall be covering. So that's Yvonne's detail. Let me reach for another. That there. So this is Helsey as well. So Helsey was on the orange card at the beginning of the last video. And she's made a little that I mean that is a proper tiny little box. She was folding that, scoring that at tiny measurements, wasn't she? Oh my goodness. And then a little card in here. So that was her swap. But yeah, that's an that's an actual box for that. Gorgeous. So Helsey is slim and stylish, two M's, because it's her surname. And then I know this project, and actually the lady who gave it to me, we did smile. So um, yeah, this is this is my design, um, and she shrunk it. And actually, if I remember rightly, I think the video for a bigger version of this is coming out to you soon. But I will hold up her details. And yeah, you need no glue for it whatsoever. It's a tuck and fold. Um, but I will pop her details so you can go and see her sizing for this. Chocolate inside. That's her details there, which hopefully you can read because it's quite big. Um, what else have I got here? Desk calendar. So it folds up like that and then we'll pop and sit on your desk there. Donna Brown, who is... Donna was, is my third level we had. All generations of my team. That was good. So it's lovely to have, including myself, four generations. Uh, Evelyn is in Sophie's team, so part of my team over in France. So she's made a beautiful little handbag with chocolate inside. So 
and pop her information up. I'm just moving my suitcase. Literally, my suitcase is on a table next to me. So hopefully you've seen that. It was a real pleasure for me to meet some of my French girls who I've not met before. Um, I'm going to hold this while I chatter because this is Valerie's coming up. I've met them, some of them before when I've gone out and joined Sophie when she's done team events, but I know the names so very well because I'm forever sending them recognition because they're all sublimin awesome. But obviously I don't get to see the French, German, Austrian and, and Dutch girls very often. Um, so it was really lovely to go, that's who you are, that's what you look like. I've been sending you recognition for months. Um, or years in some cases. Look at that. Oh, oh, I did it at the wrong angle for you. This is all magnetised. And up pops Father Christmas. <laughs> that is so cool. So he's on a, he's on, I'm going to say, that's probably our window sheet. But it's magnetised like that. And up he pops. Brilliant. So obviously I've just shown you the detail. And I think those are, these are these, um, makeup sponges that you don't need to add anything to you just rinse them with water so and I've showed you Valerie's detail right where are we on to now so this is Marielle and this is a mini version of oh I can't remember how this goes oh no 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 I can't remember how it goes and I did see them I'm looking to see if there's another half of it. There isn't. I don't remember how that goes now. There we go. Like that. <laughs> that was hard work, wasn't it? So it goes around like that. She's put a little mini dimensional on there. So it goes in the post flat. And goes around like that. That was hard work. You'd never believe I was a crafter, would you? And that is Marielle. There's her details might have swapped with somebody from Holland. Do you think that's a bit of an indicator? Dutch colours and of course that. And look at that. So I'm going to turn that around so you can see her details. Windmills. I have a windmill that I can see from actually from my bedroom window. I, can't, I can see right at the very top of it. There's a bird sat on top of my windmill right outside my window. Mine doesn't have sails on it anymore. Love it. Um... What else have I got here? I've got stars. So let me just show you the name and then I'll turn over. I'm trying to move a little bit faster. Gorgeous. How beautiful is that? This is Blushing Bride glimmer paper that's back here with purple posy. Christmas decoration. Um, oh, this is one of our Dutch, uh, one of our American ladies, Sue Hess, and where she lives. And she said, well, I live in, you know, the dairy land. So it had to be a cow. <laughs> I love that. Absolutely love it. And then I've got, so this, um, so I've got caramel flavoured tea here. And inside, and what will be a bookmark. Or maybe you could hang that. I love it. So that slides inside. I love this patterned paper. Gorgeous. How clever is that? I love to swap with our international ladies. I'm still going. I'm going to move tiny little bit faster now. Um, so I've got a couple of cards here, all hand coloured, but the details are on the inside. So, oh, Kaylee Van Ness. So she's um, part of the artisan design team. And so she's just done her year and she's handed over the Dutch reigns to her mum. <laughs> Her mum is now on the artisan design team, Helene. So that's Kaylee. And this one is, okay. So this beautiful one here, so we've got lots of die cutting on. Is Here we go, here's the link for you. So you can have a read of that. I'm just gonna try and reach more. Oh, didn't need to drop that. This is from Ivy, who had the necklace made for me that I showed in, I don't know, probably about 45 minutes ago. Are you still with us? But look at that. All glittery. She knows I love a bit of Wink of Stella. 
and this was an early celebration so that's going to go in a very special place until I can officially open it okay oh more swaps here more cards rather I might have to bring these out like this and then turn them all over aren't they gorgeous so I'm going to turn them over so you can see the names of everybody who designed them furry cat designs who's furry cat designs Karen Henderson I want to meet you properly Karen all of those so hopefully you can see all of the names I'm just going to try and get these all out so this is more stuff I think this is going to be the longest video I have ever done. So this is... Oh look, two Let It Snows together. Oh, that's funny. Oh, I want to get this out to show you how this works. Maybe I should have said half today, half tomorrow. Bonjour. How lovely is that? And there's a window there. There we go. You can see it's behind it's behind glass. So that's Elise again. This one, Pat loves papery. And this one is Yvonne De Devery. They're gorgeous. Right, so I'm back into some more. Oh, actually, let me get the card ones out again. I've got more card ones down here. Oh, Poodler's Rock. This is somebody in my team, of course. Who's this? This is Dagmar again. So, as you saw with my lanyard, we say Poodler's Rock. And she she did ask me if I said, is it okay if I make these for all of the team? Absolutely. So she made one of these for every person in our team that was out there. Otherwise, it would be a lot of people. Um, this is a notebook with bookmark inside, which I love this one. And that's, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce it, Inepi or Inipi. And then there's another notebook in, oh no, this one isn't a notebook. This is Anna, who's my team. Let me go, there we go. Oh, it is a notebook. So she's made a little notebook and then she's got a magnet closure. So that's Anna, Anna's paper box. This one is Inepi. And Dagmar. Okay. And then Trina, who was my car partner from my team. There is chocolate inside there. She's the Trina's paper corner. Oh no, it's biscuits. Yum. So she made a little box. So that's Trina. I'm reaching around for more stuff. This. How cool is that? I want to know what it says. I'm going to have to do use Google Translate. Um, Yolanda. What did you tell me was inside it, Yolanda? Because I don't want to wreck it opening it. I'm fairly... Oh, look, there we go. Hot chocolate. I can see it peeping through now. Or maybe that's milkshake. I don't know. I don't recognise the bunny. So that is Yolanda. Okay, and then Michelle came all the way from Queensland, Australia, and she, she said to me, Sam, you've got four boys, haven't you? And I said, yeah. And she handed me another four of these, so we swapped, and then she handed me four more for my boys. So I didn't ask them what was inside there. She said, if you get the, she said, I can't remember if she said, if you get the koala, it's the rogue one, or she said it's the heck, well, the Ekadina. Is that how you say it? She said one of them was a rogue one that came from Austria, from New Zealand. But that's really cute. So that's a, a no glue box. And of course, it's got the koala in there. Or maybe she meant it was the koala on the front. I'll have to look at the ones that, because I gave them to the boys. Sweeties, actually biscuits. And there were some mints as well in that one. And a card that pops up like that. 
I'm going to hand you some... Oh, focus, focus, focus. There we go. I'm trying to reach the far part of my suitcase. So, I have a badge from my team. I can't get to it right now because it's underneath everything. Oh, actually, I can get the badge of them. So, we have a team badge, which looks like that. And it's my logo, and it's got the Bootless team on it. So, all of the team can identify themselves. And Sophie also had the same for her team with a bunny on it, which is theirs. And Anique um, made them, and then this was her swap. She's made badges, which I believe you American ladies call buttons. American ladies and gentlemen call buttons. We call them badges, so they have a, you know, you pin them to your outfit. And this was her swap. How cool is that? I'm a very lucky girl. Very lucky girl. So that is and if I try and push her name up so you can see it. There you go. I hope that's focused. Okay, I've got one here and it's it went into my suitcase missing the ribbon at the top and any identifying details as to who made it. So if it was you, let me know, but that's Father Christmas chocolate. And I, I'm 100% certain there would have been ribbon on the top, but I don't know where it's gone. It's not in my bag. It didn't go in my suitcase like that. So, hmm. Okay, an alarm's gonna go off in my phone in any second. Time to collect the children. Right, more stuff. I've got 12 minutes left. <laughs> uh, this, I love this. I've made a big version of this before, but I didn't. I wasn't brave enough to miniaturise it. Um, I'm going to say there's probably chocolates inside, and I don't want to open it and wreck it. But this came from this lovely person, so I'm going to hold that up and see if I can get into it without breaking it. I don't know that I can. Oh, can I? Can I? Can I? Because I want you to see how it how it's done. There we go. Oh, she's glued. Oh, okay. I'm going to undo it just so that you can see it. It's a square of paper and you use something round across the corners so that you get this. It's almost like the pillow box pattern. And then when it pulls together, you get this wonderful shape. And like I said, I've done a big version of it. I think I use six by six paper, but it's just lovely. So if I tip that, you can see it. So, and it's the chocolates inside, of course. Um, I ended up with brand some sweeties and after eight minutes don't know where they came from <laughs> they obviously came out of something else a double slider so this is Rebecca Wilmore and I'm hoping to pull out her details catnip crafting yep on Facebook catnip craft oh for goodness sake it's not focused Catnip Crafting is on her on Facebook and it's a double slider and that is a cat scissor charm because, you know, mm. Rebecca and cats. Mm. There's the mm. alarm on my phone. Mm. There we go. To collect the children from school. But it's a good job my husband sat right behind me. He'll go and collect them. Okay. Ah, oh, these are the ones. I had another one from Violet. So, oh no, actually these are the ones from Violet who made and she made me, gave me a whole bunch for the children as well and they've got Ferrero Rocher inside um, lovely she put them together while we were there but her details are not on here oh there we go Violet creates at stampinup.com focus focus there we go okay and then that's lovely. That's very pretty. Oh no, who's it from? Oh, there's no detail on it. I'm going to base an educated guess on that. Somebody from France. If it was you, let me know. That's gorgeous. Perfect Christmas decoration. There's, I'm still going here. There's still more to come. Um, right. I was told what these are for. So, this lovely box with a drink on the outside, you put this round your glasses so you can identify it's yours. 
This little box is especially made for the marker for bottles and glasses, which is in the inside. So, would you like to know how I made this box? Please check my YouTube channel, Danielle Cassing, for the video. And so she is, yeah, simply Danielle Cassing. So you can see all her detail, but that's really cool. So you would put that round your wine glass, um, or, you know, around the neck of your bottle of, you know, if it's a bottle of Coke or something, so you can put it down and know that it's yours. And then she's made a bespoke box for it. There we go. Nearly there. Well, ish. Okay. Look at that. So this is a box of stuff inside, but also a card. So it's a card and a box all in one. So I'm going to hold the details up for the gorgeous creator. And in here, oh my goodness. So I've got thyme seasoning. I've got this little mini cakes, toffees, chocolate, more chocolate and treats. Gosh, blimey, that's like a TARDIS in there. That's amazing. How cool is that? Let me hold up some details for you while I pull out something else. So that's who you're going to go look for on YouTube or Google. Bravo. My husband's leaving the room to go and collect children from school. So run out of room. Oh, this is Valerie as well. Where's Valerie's project? So this is Valerie's other project with the pop-up Father Christmas. And I think that was a gift. And then this is her swap as well. So it's a page flag. So it's like a bookmark, but obviously a very Christmassy one. So again, I'll hold up her information again. Oh, nearly dropped one. Okay, so this is a deal who, oh, right. This is where the after eights came from. What did I do with the after eight chocolates? There's one. After eight chocolates slipped in there. So it's a little book. And you pop it open. Chocolate's in there. How clever is that? So that's a deal. Also from France and from within my French team. And this is as well. So this is Chantal, who is Coccinel scrap. So, and she, I'm re yes, yeah, she does have a YouTube channel because you're going to seriously going to want to go and watch this one. Okay, I'm not even going to try and spell it. C O C C I N E L L E N E L L E scrap. And this, and I've been gifted stuff from her in the past. She spends such a long time creating the most beautiful projects. But look at this. I thought somebody was going to snap all this out of my suitcase. She has made an umbrella and it is a working umbrella with a candy cane in it. That is a working umbrella. Look at the detail on that. It's inside and outside. I couldn't even comprehend how you would begin to put that together. Anybody else got ring.com? Chris has just left the building. That is just... I can't even comprehend how she has done that. Um, and now he's getting something out of the garage, which is right below me. That's just battered my brain. Oh, you see, I was trying to put it open like that. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> oh, oh. <sighs> it, uh, yeah, it's not often I'm speechless. Right now I am speechless. Okay. So did you get the details of that? She was on YouTube. If she hasn't made it yet, Go and start shouting at her to make it. So I've got, oh, I never know how, there we go. I never know how to open these. So Sarah Sayers, gorgeous British demo. Chocolate cover, chocolate covered coffee beans. It's an origami, tri-pyramid fold treat box. And Sarah, I don't know if she's got this on a video. So I'm hoping you can see her details. It's right underneath where it says Cobham, Surrey. sucraftylittleminx.wordpress.com if you can't read that. 
Oh, how many minutes? Oh, I've got three minutes, 45 seconds. Oh, I'm going to have to do another video. No, I'm not, actually. I'm all good. No, I'm not. I'm going to have to do another one. <laughs> Is anybody having their lunch while watching this? So I've got yummy chocolates in there. And there's... Oh, here we go. Martine has laid that, so it pulls together. I like this because it's cut out. She's cut this out and then she's backed it. I don't know if you can see, there's a couple of layers, so she's backed it to get that pattern coming through again. Oh, I'm not gonna get these last few in. I'm seriously gonna have to splice. Pause. Okay, back again. Third video splicing. Um, I didn't want to rush through these ones at all. So this is from Lawrence, um, who is, I think she's in my third level in France. But that's really good. So you would add photos to this. So it's like a mini walking album that you would attach to your keys. And then of course, chocolates and sweeties in, attached to it. So Lawrence's details are there. There we go. I've got about six more to go, five or six more to go. So this one. Oh, I know. Yes, I remember. I was chatting to the lady who gave this to me. So this is a pen loop for your notebook. Let me find a notebook that you are allowed to look in. Okay, let's get my new blog now. So if you have a diary that doesn't have a pen loop, so this is this is what I write my blog notes in. What you do you take this clip and you clip it on the outside the outside of the inside of your notebook so it goes around like that and you pop a pen in there a pen or a pencil pencils all I've got handy and it means that you've always got a pen loop for your notebook how clever is that and she's made it with our cardstock and DSP but stitched it to stitch this in Brilliant. Right, where's the details? There we go. Anchor made that. Genius. Love it. Oh, I've got another violet, sweetie. Ha ah, Did she give... She must have given me six then, because I've given four to the boys anyway. Okay. Um, this one amused me, because... Um, this, is, this is a project I designed, but it's been miniaturised. And... Um, one of the girls who was sat with me went, oh look, that's a Julie DiMatteo project. And I went, actually it's mine and it's been shrunk. And she said, I never knew that. And I said, yeah, I made the big version of it. And then I think it was um, somebody in my team shrank it, made it smaller. And then Julie has done it as well. And Julie's a very popular demonstrator. And she shares lots of projects that other demos have done. So she always cases everybody. And this was one of them. And it, was, it just highly amused me. So this is the lady who's done it. So you'll probably find details her version of it on there but like I say I, I did a big one of it I was trying to make something else I was probably about 2015 and it just holds together and it's the way you've scored it that makes it fold because it's just a rectangle of paper scored in a particular fashion and folded in a different way so there you go that's cute with a little dauber in it Another couple here, just a couple more to go. So I've got scissor charm, which is good because one of mine I had to cut off recently. Uh, and that's Liz Rockingham. And I'm guessing by the phone number, British demonstrator. Rock, rocks, glass, paper, scissors. Oh, rocks, scissor, paper. Yeah, got it. Rocks, scissor, paper. Scissor charm for you. That's really cool. I like the play on words there. That's really nice. So yeah, I'm always, always after scissor charms. Two more, and I have candy cane here, and a beautiful Christmas card. And this is Sandra Piaget. So that's her details. And there's the card again. So this is using the stunning um, Most Wonderful Time product medley. And a candy cane. Oh, look! Red and white ones, they're so hard to find in the UK. And then the final thing, we had pin trading this year. I was given this one, so we were all given three pins and encouraged to go and swap them with other people. 
and I had I kept my original ones I loved the umbrella uh, with the toucan I can do without that um, but I had an orange one and as I was looking at them oh, I really want the red one a lovely Dutch demonstrator walked past me and I said do you want to swap your orange your red one for my orange one she's like yes because orange is the national color for um, the Dutch I believe it's their football team as well um, but orange is a very very popular color in the Netherlands so I was able to do swapsies and get a red one for me so that's it I'm just going to double check because I would hate to have missed anybody I'm just looking at around me as well I think yeah I think that's it so I the state of my desk because I've as as I've had to stop and press play again or press record again I've actually just swept like that so and my children are going to have a field day with all of the sweeties like I said I you know there were some extras given to them so I've already handed those on and they will um you know I will share the rest with them apart from that one and that one and definitely that one and in fact I'm not sharing any of them not sharing any at all so the next Stampin' Up! official on stage event is uh will be um, in May and there'll be um, small events scattered around all of our countries so not just the UK and Europe but actually all countries that are inside the Stampin' Up! family. I have a team event coming up in May and it's a grand celebration and it's two days. It's a two, two full, two full, full on days um, and you kind of got to be in my team to be there and they are going to be amazing days. I'm so excited. In fact, I'm so excited I might pop. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me and enjoying all of these swaps. I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.